In this video, I'm going to introduce you to polygon primitives. In order to do that, I need to start by explaining Maya's interface a little bit. Now, Maya has an interface that changes and adapts based on your needs, based on which part of the process you're in. So, for example, right here under File, there's this drop-down tab that currently says Modeling, but it can be used to, for rigging, for animation and effects and etc. But if I come back to modeling, you'll notice that when I switch, the file options up here at the top change. So watch here at the end where it says Arnold and help. And if I go to animation, those all change. So for the modeling process, I want to make sure that I am in the modeling mode, that I've got that set to modeling. I can also access things for modeling from the shelves that are right here. So if I come along the shelves and I select over here, wherever I need to for poly modeling, the same options that are going to be up here under the modeling menu will be available here under the poly modeling. Now Maya is designed to have multiple ways of accomplishing the exact same task. So let's get a little bit into creating primitives. So the simplest way is with the poly modeling shelf selected to simply select one of these primitives and that will create it at the origin. So here's the polygon sphere, polygon cube, and if you're not sure what something is, if you just highlight over it, not clicking, not touching, it generally has something pop up like this saying this is a polygon cylinder, create a polygon cylinder on the grid. And so you can select one of these primitives by doing that. So I will select the sphere right there. Now I'm going to teach you a quick key. So if you hit the W key with the object selected, so if you hit W, it doesn't do anything, come here and click on the object, hit the W key. You'll notice these handles pop up, and you can left click and drag to move that out of the way. Um, but then I'm going to come and select another one. So I'm going to select the polygon cube and drag that out of the way. I'll select the polygon cylinder, drag that out of the way. Select the cone and drag that out of the way. You see how easy this is to create to get primitives. The alternative way of doing this is to come up to create polygon primitives and you can select them from the options here. So I will grab the torus and there I've got a polygon primitive torus. Now there are once again a couple of different ways to change the objects once they're created. So I need you to open up the attribute editor. If you don't know what that is, that's fine. Up here on the top right of Maya, there are a series of buttons. The one that's currently open for me is the channels and the layers. And so I will click that to close it. Multi-component tool is open, so I will click to close that. And then you see it's got the attribute editor. And I can continue closing until I, I've got everything gone. Or I could have just selected the attribute editor to open up. You see that there are other things over here on the tabs that were open at the same time. So you can select through here or simply select this middle button here of these five to open up the attribute editor. With the attribute editor open and I have an object selected, I can come to this third tab in. So the first tab has the transform, the second is the mesh, and the third is the information about the primitive. And so this is a polygon primitive that's a, a torus and so I can adjust information about it. So I can change the radius, I can change the section radius, I can change how many subdivisions it has, so I can set that to 10, I can minimize the height subdivisions to 5, and you see I've just changed and altered this primitive. I can do the same thing by coming over to this sphere. So I'm actually going to create a new sphere so you can see the differences. With this new sphere, I'm going to come over here to the attribute editor and I will select 4 by 4 and then tab so that it updates. And you see, it's they're both primitives, but one has far fewer subdivisions. Can do the same for all of these. Another way of doing the same thing is to change these attributes as you're creating the object. The way to do this is to come up here once again to the file menu and go to create polygon primitives, but rather than selecting which primitive you're creating, you select this option box next to it, so this little square that's next to it. So for sphere, I will click on that, and here are my sphere options. So I can change what the radius is, I can change the axis division, so for this I'll set it for 8 by 8, and I can hit apply, and you see now it's created that new one. 
Now if I come up here again, after closing it, create polygon primitive sphere, and I go to the option box, you'll see that it's saved what the last primitive was that I created. So if you want to keep the default settings, just make sure that it's set 20 by 20, as it was uh, previously, and then hit apply. And then make your changes afterwards in the attribute editor. So I can do that 8 by 8. So however you want to approach it, start playing around with creating primitives, either from here on the shelves or up here in the file menu, so polygon primitives, and then explore changing their attributes. And we'll end this video there.